Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. As always, if you're already subscribed, thank you again so much for being here and welcome back. Today I've got one of the few beauty boxes that I open consistently here on the channel and that is the Allure Beauty Box. Now I subscribed for an entire year right before their price increase so the boxes that I'm receiving are about $13 per month, which I think is a fantastic value. The box, if you sign up for it now on a month-to-month -month basis, is $23, but they always guarantee that you'll have six products. Three of them will be full size. Sometimes that might mean a sheet mask, but it will always have a value of over $100, so you're still definitely getting your money's worth, and I think it's a great way of trying out new products that you might not otherwise give a chance, and also I think they do a nice job of balancing beauty products products, makeup products, and then like skincare products. So let's go ahead and get into this month's box. I will leave a link for you in the description box below if you're interested in checking it out. They always do a very nice product pamphlet that tells you all about it and it also tells you a little bit more about like the full size. You can kind of see what the packaging will look like. Let's go ahead and read the little note that is from the editor. So it says, making time. I'm working from home with a one-year-old and there are days when I can barely shower, let alone blow dry my hair. So I've been reaching for a mix of quick fix products and more indulgent ones when I do have a few minutes to myself. I'm determined to make them count. That's what you'll find in your box this month. My secret for perfectly air dried hair is in there alongside fancy skincare worth luxuriating over, plus a moisturizer exfoliator brightener in in one that's so good it has sold out multiple times. Luckily, you got one in, you got an in for getting your hands on one XO Liz. So that's great and I've loved that we're getting like more hair care products in different beauty boxes that I've been receiving lately so and of course there's always a little information from their editors about each of the products and it looks like we got a lot of like skincare this time around so let me just keep this handy and of course I'll tell you all about it everything's just kind of in there and it looks like a lot of the things actually have like their own their own box this time so this one actually came wrapped in plastic as well so let me do my best to start getting into it it says that the one ounce is a hundred and forty eight dollar value you guys this is crazy so <laughs> That's, and that is the full size product. That's what we actually got. So that's an amazing value, you guys. This is the U Beauty Resurfacing Compound. So here's what the box looks like without the plastic on there. So a little bit less glare. And then let me see if I can get into the box itself without mangling it too much. It says, I've dealt with hyperpigmentation for as long as I can remember. My pimples have a way of leaving dark spots behind me too. This serum has many of the brightening, smoothing ingredients I look for, including vitamin C, alpha, hydroxy acids and retinol plus clarifying witch hazel and hydrating vitamin E. I applied a few pumps, topped it with a basic moisturizer and I'm happy to report that after a few days my complexion was looking all around brighter. My combination skin is generally tough enough to withstand experimenting but retinol can still be irritating. I was relieved that this serum left no tingling or tightness. Definitely a new serum for my glass skin goals. So I know that the glass skin thing is like a big thing but I feel like I don't want my skin to be like that shiny. That said I can definitely um, sort of relate to a lot of the stuff that she said in terms of having combination skin like I have patches that are really oily and patches that get really dry um, I love retinol products but again sometimes every once in a while my skin decides to like react to it so I'm glad that she said that it is like mild enough to use and this is a really like classy looking bottle you guys so it's like a nice pump bottle but look how pretty it is with all the like white um, it, it's, it's actually plastic but it looks like glass so again very very nice and I do like these like pump bottle ones as well because I feel like you can be a little bit more precise in terms of the amount that you're putting on your face so I'm really excited to get this I had like a retexturizing serum from a past uh, box of style and I really really love that so hopefully this will be a good replacement for that Let's see what else we've got. This looks like another full-size product from Christophe Robin, and that is a pretty well-known like French hair care brand. So this is the Crème du Jour. Uh, so it's the daily hair cream with sandalwood moisturizing care. So this looks awesome. So it says that it's for damaged or color treated hair. Well, my hair is not color treated, but it is definitely damaged, especially at the bottom. So let me see what I can find about this. The price on this is $43. 
and the little blurb next to it says I've always been a fan of air drying but now that I'm in my late 30s my hair is a little drier and a lot fuzzier you would never know it though and not just because I rarely leave my apartment anymore this silicone free leave-in with hydrating smoothing ingredients like glycerin and apricot kernel oil lets me air dry without frizz or puffiness but my favorite way to use it is on clean dry hair post air drying I'll take a dollop through the lengths and then run what's left on my fingers over my roots I get a kick out of watching the instant transformation from fuzzy to shiny like a hair commercial that plays out in my own bathroom hey it's the little things these days so that's perfect for me you guys know I don't do much in terms of hair care I do just air dry and my hair is very like straight and very thin but I do definitely get those flyaways so I think that sounds perfect to give the ends which are very dry and split a little bit more moisture and then just a teeny tiny bit up here to kind of smooth the part and keep those little strays from like sticking out here and there so that's a great product to have for sure the next thing I'm seeing is by Floss, which is a beauty brand that we get in a lot of subscription boxes. It says this has a value of $18, and I guess this is our third full-size product. It's the Floss Lip Advocate in Your Honor, sir, or Advocate in Your Honor. So it's in this little pink tube. Let's see what it looks like. Very pretty color. So very nice, kind of a berry color, which I'm definitely into. All right, I'm gonna close that up carefully so I don't mess it up too much. It says, I know you're probably wondering why I would wear a lip color when most people are only seeing my eyes, but hear me out. This sheer crayon is much more than just a pretty hue. The formula is made with shea butter so it keeps lips soft and hydrated without cracks. The berry wash is so flattering and it layers well. I apply one coat when I'm looking for a subtle tint and two or three when I want a more vibrant effect. So again, I do really like this color and I'm happy to give this a try. And I like that you can kind of like layer um, the, the, the pigmentation to make it be a little bit darker because I tend to like a little bit more color when I'm putting anything on my lips. Like things that are just like a gloss or like a tint don't usually do enough for me and I usually have to pair them with something else. So that's good and that value seems fair like for a nice like lipstick or a lip gloss. So let's see what else we have. We have looks like I'm trying to find the Medeca uh, Derma Revitalizing Mask. So I think it's a sheet mask. So uh, technically this would be like a fourth full size item because you can't really get like a sample sheet mask. But this one looks very like simplified. So it says 100% pure cotton sheet mask for fresh youthful looking skin. So I just did a mask the other day. I was very proud of myself for venturing past just the little eye patches which you guys know that I love because I do have a pretty big stack of really nice sheet masks so I'm finally trying to do like one or two at least a week maybe when I like take those few moments of the day to read a little bit so let's read about this so it does say that if you were buying it it would be like a pack of 10 for $19.99 so it's like two dollars per sheet mask so it says I haven't left my home in 15 days or maybe it's been 20 with all that time indoors my finicky skin is drier than ever and randomly reddens in flakes me too fun so I've been using Medeca sheet mask drenched in moisturizing and calming ingredients including Alan Toyn and Centella Asiatica Asiatica I tear open the sachet smooth the essence soak cotton fabric over my clean dry skin watch a rerun of the office then pull off the mask to reveal hydrated dewiness I like to rub in the excess essence to really get the most out of it a week later I start the process all over again so I'll definitely give it a try I don't know if I'll watch the office rerun but I, I have my shows that I watch that are usually pretty short and sweet or like I said maybe I'll do it when I'm reading and just give myself a certain number of pages or chapters to get through let's see what else we have so this let's see this is by amore pacific so i have to find this um and it looks like maybe i'm missing something else in the box hold on a second i think something was hiding so it was it was hiding and i just put the sheet mask back on top of it so we've got this little tiny sample from la roche posay i actually think we got another one of these samples in a box like maybe a couple of months ago maybe it was a little bit different so this has an spf of 100 it's the anthelios melt in milk sunscreen so that is some intense sunscreen at 100 SPF. It says, knowing the cardinal rule of skincare, wear sunscreen every day and following it are two different things. To stick to it, I've made it a priority to start today with this formula, even when I'm staying indoors. Windows don't block the UV rays that break down collagen and stimulate excess pigment. This sunscreen reminds me of a sophisticated lotion, so it keeps my SPF ritual feeling like self-care rather than a chore. It's silky, fragrance-free, and infused with antioxidants and moisturizers. Plus, it lives up to its melt-in name. There's 
there's no chalkiness on me or my colleagues with dark skin or excessive rubbing required. It says that it normally has a value of $24.99. I'm not sure. So it looks like the one that they're showing us is a three fluid ounce uh, tube and that would be $25. And this one is like, you know, point three fluid ounces or something really tiny just to give it a try and see if it's something that you want to purchase but um that's again pretty intense sunscreen if you're not actually going outside but maybe i will use it the next time i am going to be out for a few hours and see how it goes so the next sample we have is going back to what I was saying um, from Amore Pacific. It's a treatment cleansing foam. It says this has got to be one of the fanciest face washes I've ever tried. It foams quickly, so satisfying, but because it's infused with rich oils and mango seed butter, it still feels soft and cushiony going on. And this tube delivers. A pea-sized squirt is all I need for a deep clean. It makes my skin feel truly pristine, even after the grimiest, sweatiest, foundationiest days. I didn't know that was a word, but I totally get what she's saying. So a cute little bottle or a cute little tube here. The full size bottle would be $50, but what we got here, I'm not sure um, how many, it's 0.5 fluid ounces. And it doesn't, I can't actually see on the packaging how, how big the regular size tube is. All right, so it looks like you could have gotten either or. Um, you either got this one, which we got, which is the treatment cleansing foam, or you could have gotten the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. So I think I'm glad that I got this one, even though I, um, it looks like it has a lower value than the essence, because this is probably something that I will use more. So happy to get a cleanser. And I also like when it says like foam in the name, because I do like my cleanser to actually like foam up, because then I just, I feel like it's doing more than so that's pretty cool not not a bad box again I always think even at $23 you're definitely getting your value and we got pretty much if you count the sheet mask as a full-size product I think we got four this time because we got this nice little like lip color we got this uh, retexture resurfacing compound in a lovely bottle I think the packaging on this is really pretty that had a really high value like I said it was like $148 for that size and then we also got this um, hair care treatment, which I think is gonna be great and definitely something that I will use. And then the other little samples are fun as well. So nothing in here that to, to complain about. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite item was or if you have any like retexturizing serums that you really love or like lip color that you really love or hair care that you really love. Always happy to hear your suggestions as well. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.